Hi, I'm Amanda Jane. Last October, I walked over 1,200 kilometers around 88 temples on the Japanese island of Shikoku. During the pilgrimage, I experienced charging wild boar, deadly snakes, typhoons, an earthquake, uh, climbing the wrong mountain, very few toilets, excruciating pain, blisters upon blisters, and a miraculous near-death experience. I also experienced countless acts of kindness, incredible beauty, love and support, a deep gratitude for the sponsors whose prayers I delivered. I came to a deeper level of trust than I've experienced before. 88 Temples with Amachan, a pilgrim's process, is about this 49-day journey and what I learned along the way. Two of the reasons to vote for my book, 88 Temples with Amachan. Firstly, the benefits I share with you demonstrate how spiritual principles can be experienced in a life-changing way. I had more than my fair share of adventures on this journey, and I learned how, as I change, my circumstances and surroundings also change. This book is not just about intellectually knowing spiritual principles. It's about taking that leap of faith, you know, stepping off the ledge, and then watching as these principles integrated into my life. It was fascinating for me to look back and realize the process of my progress. The pilgrimage is divided into four sections and each has a spiritual name. I renamed each section. The place of spiritual awakening became the place of pain and misery. The place of ascetic training became the place of facing wild boar. The place of enlightenment became the place of a miraculous near death. And the place of nirvana became the place of peace. Secondly, there's something in it for everyone. This is an honest account of my experience. It's written with insight and with humour. It will appeal to everybody. If you're interested in spirituality, if you're looking for a fun travel adventure story, or if you're on your own journey and you're looking for inspiration. I want to encourage people to notice the spiritual in their lives as they are right now. If none of the circumstances in your life changed, if they remained exactly the same as they are right now, could you be in peace? We hear wonderful teachers like Eckhart Tolle talking about the power of now. My book is about coming to a place of loving the now, step by step, literally. I did this on an 88 temple, 49 day, 1,200 kilometer pilgrimage. But you can do this in your life, right now. My book will help to inspire you to do that. So I'm asking you please to vote for this book and you can press whichever button, I don't know where it is, on the screen. And there it is. Thank you very much. Oh, as for the near-death experience, you have to look inside to find out more.